Welcome to part two. Uh, this is really the important part. This is what will make uh, your Yamadori uh, success, survival rate uh, a lot higher. Two things, um, sphagnum moss, very, very important. Uh, the reason we're gonna use sphagnum moss is we want to create high humidity. And we create a high humidity by using this, uh, these black plastic bags. Now this is a wheelie bin bag, very, very big as you can see. Um, and I buy the cheapest, nastiest um, uh, wheelie bin bags uh, that you can almost see through. And it's just, um, it's so important that you don't use a bag that is, uh, that is too black. You need to get a certain amount of, of light coming in. If you don't get enough light coming in, the new shoots will come out yellow and not green. The photosynthesis, you, need, you get a small amount of photosynthesis by using a very thin, black plastic bag. So let me let me tell you what I do next. Here's our treat. And what I do, I've given this a war, one watering. This is very important. You don't oversaturate. Give this this tree just one complete watering. Let it drain off. Then using the sphagnum moss, put it all around the surface of the pot very deep indeed very deep it's not something that you should skimp on so this is sphagnum moss that's already been saturated so it's very very wet Okay, the next thing is the tree is going to be complete, placed completely inside um, of, of the plastic bag. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to trim this edge, uh, this, this point off here, um, just so it's flat, because that point will puncture the, uh, the bag. Oops, it's my, uh, it's my bag. I can't use that one. Let's go. There we go. Let's try that one. There we go. Let's just take that end off because hawthorn it's in the clue is in the name it's got lots of thorns in them and what we don't want is them puncturing the side of the bag there we go so let's take this down a moment here's our big bag because we know that the tree is long and thin i'm going to be putting it in this way Pushing the pot right up to this edge. There we go. Just a wee bit more. Okay. Tree gets completely wrapped. See what I mean about this point here? Just be very careful we don't puncture the bag. Okay. So the tree is completely enclosed. What I also do at this point, and I do this daily, is I mist spray while it's in the bag. I'm spraying the whole tree because we want to create that humidity in here. Then, using wire, which I preferred earlier, we tie the, the bag, being careful not to puncture the bag. Gather it all up, like so, give it a twist, and fold it over, and then wire it together. So it's very, very important 
that this remains as airtight as possible. You will have a problem with hawthorns and blackthorns because it will, as you misspray every single day, uh, it will punch the side of the bag. So it's very, very important that, that you do misspray. This needs to be kept in full sun. Now, where I live in the north of England, even though today is a beautiful sunny day, we don't have sun all the time. This is perfectly okay to be kept in your warm garage or if your partner will allow, even in the house. But this needs to be kept warm. And what it's doing is it's actually sweating the tree. This is not unlike forcing rhubarb as well. You know, if you're familiar with rhubarb uh, uh, being forced, keeping it in the dark will, will encourage those new shoots to flourish. It's a great technique. Lots of people around the world have been using it thanks to uh, my blog. Um, please visit the blog. It's yamadori.co.uk. This is all outlined uh, in the blog post, how to improve the success rate of your Yamadori. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.